sorry about the bad lighting. I haven't figured out this new office. Oh, welcome to my Camp Nano week one vlog. This is day one, July 1st. And we are getting ready to upload a video for tomorrow and then I'm gonna work on my historical romance that I am writing for July. So let's get that done. I don't know how long it's gonna take to upload this video. It's not that long, but sometimes, sometimes YouTube's like, yeah, no, hey, we're going to take for a really long time. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes it's like that. Oh geez, where did I save it? I don't think it's done yet. Apparently it wasn't in saving on my computer after I uploaded it, so. <laughs> Alright, let's do some research. Oh, and I need to get my outline. Oh, I already put it in Scrivener. I forgot that I put it in Scrivener. I put the outline in Scrivener. So I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to actually get my outline or my notes. I may need my notes for people's names that I've already come up with. Or you just create new names and then, you know. Okay, so my video is uploading to YouTube. I've got everything in, I've got the picture done, I've got the description done. It's almost ready. I'm so glad that it came together. I was not very, I feel like this is a, like the theme of quarter two and I really want to strive and get away from this in quarter three is that I was tired and didn't feel good most of quarter two. And so earlier this week, I didn't feel good. I had to work late Monday. I worked late Tuesday. I worked late Wednesday. Um, I worked late tonight. So four out of the five nights I've worked late. I have overtime at work and that's something that we're shouldn't have but I do have overtime so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to leave early so I don't have overtime or if they're gonna pay me for the overtime or if I'm just gonna have to leave early some other time I don't know how it's all gonna work out I haven't thought that far in advance but I was supposed to shoot this video for Friday on Tuesday and I didn't feel very good. And I was like, okay, I can shoot it Wednesday, no problem. Wednesday, Thursday will give me enough time to do this. And then I didn't shoot it Wednesday. And then I was like, okay, I'll just shoot it at lunchtime on Thursday. And I didn't do it Thursday for lunch. And then I, you know, ended up working an hour, almost an hour and a half over tonight. And then I was like, okay, well, I've got to shoot this video. I don't really want to not put a video out. <laughs> for Friday. I shot it, it really, it was fun, but it was super fun to shoot. Plus I'm shooting in this in this new office space that I have and I'm so excited about it. And it, I feel like a completely different person from when I got off work like two hours ago. So, you know, being creative has definitely improved my mood, which is awesome. So this video has about 10 minutes left. I'm gonna pull up Scrivener and I don't know what I'm gonna work on. I ended book three of Ember Storm in a weird place and I'm not exactly sure that I wanna end it there or I want those sections to be there. So I can either just go ahead and jump on to the next start of the next scene or um, I can start my historical romance and I don't know what I want to do because truthfully I, I wanna be done with Ember Storm so I can then I can fully focus on my romance but at the same time i'm a very chronic
chronological writer and if I don't write in the order that I perceive it to be in, it usually stops the flow of words and it just pushes me into like not wanting to actually complete it because I'm like, well, that's not where I was and I don't know. It, it's just like a mind game or something. I don't know. So yeah, but I'm going to pull up Scrivener and at least look at where I ended in Storm and see if I can figure that out. I have, it's not been every day, but like the last week and a half, I have sat down and just told myself, write for 10 minutes. Sit down and write for 10 minutes. I, I don't even care how many words I get. Just sit down and write. And last Sunday, I sat down. I actually had to go do something for a local group that I'm a part of. And I went a little bit early and took my laptop and was able to write quite a bit of words. And by the time I got home that night, I almost had 3,000 words. So I'm like, okay, let's make it. Let's get to 3,000. And then I didn't stop again until I was like 3,600 words. And I did stop then just because it was really late and time for bed. But I wrote 3,600 words in one day and really quickly too. Like it wasn't over the entire day. It was over like two hours of time spread out. <laughs> spread out through the day because I had a piece here and a piece there. So the last two weeks have made me realize that if I just sit down for 10 minutes I can get some words you know even if I'm not even if I'm not feeling good in the last two weeks I've sat down in 10 minutes and I've gotten some words so I need to I need to work on that and the lighting is really really bad It's been a few days since I updated you. <laughs> that happens. Life happens. It's been a crazy weekend. It's been 4th of July weekend. And we had something going on Saturday and Sunday. And don't mind my dogs. I just trapped them in my office so they wouldn't do anything bad. <laughs> but I have done something. Today is Tuesday, July 6th. I am going to be wrapping up this um, week one of Camp Nano the, tonight, but I did something crazy. I printed my first book of Ember Storm. It is on my goal this quarter to reread it, take notes on any plot issues, anything that stands out that needs fixed and get it to a point that I feel comfortable enough to send it to an alpha reader and find an alpha reader this quarter and send it. The goal is to send it to an alpha reader and await their feedback. So that is exciting. It's 110 pages. I think it's a little under 50,000 words since I feel like the first time I printed this it was 160 words so I'm not really sure. I've gone through like two computers. I had it on my HP on Scrivener and then I upgraded Scrivener on there and then I couldn't get it to work and then I had it in Google Docs and then I have come over to Scrivener on my Mac but I had this in Google Docs and I think it's the latest. I hope it's the latest one. Um, I know I deleted some words, but I could have sworn it was like 160 when I printed it the first time. But I mean, it ends at the right place, so we will see. Maybe it doesn't have some of the extra scenes I added already. I don't know. So we're going to read it and see, and hopefully this is the right copy. But I did do that, and then I am started today with my 500 words um, don't break the chain challenge plus camp nano I'm trying to get at least 500 words a day but my minimum goal is just to write for 10 minutes so I started I've probably been like two minutes in so I'm gonna continue with that and I'm going to write for 10 more minutes As you can see, my office has a 
bunch of stuff in it still. We are trying to get rid of the crib that I have. We don't need it anymore. And selling things online is not the greatest. So it's still here, still trying to get rid of it, but we're working on it. We're working on stuff, so. Let's get to writing. I am writing the Me Cute of a Romance right now, so that's exciting. Okay, I did 641 words, I got through the meet cute, and I did kind of like, um, oh, what's it called? Like a reaction scene for the hero, heroine. Um, I did like half of it. Um, I'm not really worried that I'm not gonna know what happened because I did outline the story uh, about a month ago, and so I do know like where I need to go and like what beats are next. So if I just can't figure out like what scene to put there, I'm just gonna go on to the next beat and, and go on and keep going and keep doing my 500 words or 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. If I can do 500 words, I'm gonna do that. If I can't, I'll just do 10 minutes and I'll see what I'll get. But so far, so good. I'm only a little behind because I finished Ember Storm book three on Thursday instead of starting um, the romance story so I'm 500 words down but I think I'll easily catch that back up so I am not worried about that but that has been my week for the July I am starting Ember Storm 1 again I'm so excited it's been a while since I've read it and I'm looking forward to that I think I'm going to this week I'm going to set a sum probably divide the number of pages and only get through that for this week. Um, yeah, I'm getting my office set up. I will definitely give you a tour. I don't know when that will be. I'm hoping to get the crib out and I've got a bassinet and I've got a piano in here that doesn't belong in here. Um, this is our spare bedroom, so my office will, you know, have a bed in here but it's a very big room it's probably a 15 by I don't know 24 or something it's a it's a big room so there's definitely enough room to have a bed and a dresser and then my office space plus I've got the Christmas decorations over there in the corner and we've got a deep freeze in here so there is a lot of stuff in here but I think it's going to work out for the better I already like it because I can close the door um, it it's a little bit hotter in here than, than in the other room, but I think if I don't leave the door open and I have the door shut, then the air will cool down in here once I get it going. I may have to shut the door and turn the fan on a little bit before I come in here, but yeah. How are you guys doing for Camp Nano? Are you doing Camp Nano? Are you doing the Don't Break the Chain Challenge from Heart Breathings? You want to check that out you can go over to heart breathing's channel you can start the challenge anytime let's see here if you're doing camp nano I would love to hear what you're working on are you working on a romance like I am did you set really realistic goals to for this camp uh, usually Last camp, I set a really, really ridiculous goal of finishing a draft, and I didn't finish it until day one of this camp, so I hopefully have learned my lesson, and I won't do that anymore. So I think 500 words 
is a good goal for this romance because I've never written just like romance before and it's a historical romance. I've never written that before. So I'm only shooting to have a novella um, about 15 to 20,000 words and I'm only shooting for 15,000 during camp as the first rough draft of it and then I'm going to go back in and see what I can edit uh, later down the road. So that is it for week one of Camp Nano. Glad that you stopped by here and joined me. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you here in this community with me. I post every Friday about writing related topics. And as always guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.